Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We are going to be talking about today JAWS Power Tips for Productivity, both at work and at play. So I want to talk a little bit about setting a flag on an email. The flagging of an email is really just an indicator that further action is required on a particular email. We can initiate this whether the email is in a closed or open position or state. Mine is currently in an open state as we were using N and Shift N to navigate the thread earlier. I'm going to open the uh, lagging dialog box by pressing Control Shift and the letter G, Golf. Control Shift G, Combo Box Custom. Flagging creates a to dash do item that reminds you to follow up. After you follow up, you can mark the to dash do item complete. Flagging creates a to dash do item that reminds you to follow up. After you follow up, you can mark the to dash do item complete. Custom, flag to edit combo, follow up, Alt plus F. Okay, that was a lot of verbiage. What I want you really take away from that is one, we know we're in the flagging a message dialog box. And two, we are in a combination of an edit field and a combo box. The purpose of this combo and edit field is to select the purpose or the action you want to do regarding this flag. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open the combo box by pressing Alt down arrow key. Open list box, follow up. And so that's one of the options is to follow up. Read, read. Reply, reply, reply to all, reply to all, review, review. So those are just a few of the options. I'm going to go ahead and choose. Reply to all, reply, 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 read, read. No response necessary, no response, forward, forward. Yeah. I'm no response, read, read. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on read. Perhaps it's a pretty lengthy email and I want to read through it very carefully. So. I'm going to leave my focus on the read option. And again, if I wanted to, I could start typing and add the intention of this flag in that edit box. I'm going to press tab to move to the next field. Start date edit, Thursday, July 21st, 2022, Alt plus S. So this start date is, let's say, um, whatever the follow-up action is is to give kind of a time frame of when I want to focus and do this follow-up action. I'm gonna go ahead and use my arrow keys to modify the date. T, H, U. And I'm pressing my right arrow Uniform. key. Uniform, R, S, D, A, Y, comma, space, J, U, L, Y, space, two, one. And I'm gonna say that I wanna, uh, review this message on the 25th. I'm going to go ahead and comma five. change that to the 25th. And there we go. And now I'm going to tab to the next option. Date picker. So you could also use your date picker. If you wanted to, you could press space here and then use either your up and down arrow keys or even your left and right arrow keys to choose a date. Go ahead and press tab again. Custom, due date edit, Monday, July 25th, 2022, Alt plus D. So I'm going to leave this due date as it is, as this uh, reflects not only the start date, but the end date that I would want to complete this follow-up action. Date picker. And there's another date picker option. I'm going to press tab again. Reminder checkbox not checked, Alt plus R. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this reminder. This is going to alert me just as if when you receive a reminder notification for an upcoming meeting or event. I'm gonna go ahead and press my space here. Space, checked. And now that I've checked this, two additional options have come up for me. I'm gonna go ahead and press tab. Custom, reminder date edit, Monday, July 25th, 2022. So. I can select a date to have the reminder appear for me to remind me of what I wanted to do. I'm gonna leave that at July 25th. Date picker, custom, reminder time edit, 4 p.m. And then I can set a time that I would like the 
uh, pardon me, the reminder to be sent. I'm going to go ahead and choose 1 p.m. 3.30 p.m. 3 p.m. And I'm just pressing my up arrow key. 2.30 p.m. 2 p.m. 1.30 p.m. 1 p.m. Great. And now I'll press tab. Reminder sound button. If I wanted to have a sound or a specific sound accompany the reminder, I could do that here. I'll press tab again. Clear flag button. Alt plus E. Of course, this is where if I wanted to clear the flag, let's say I completed the follow-up action, I could check that. OK button. And I'm going to go ahead and press space on this OK button. Space. Recolon upcoming webinar events dash message left paren HTML right paren. Edit. Recolon upcoming webinar events. Read. Start by Monday, July 25th, 2022. Due by Monday, July 25th, 2022. Reminder colon Monday, July 25th, 2022, 1 p.m. Subject edit. Recolon upcoming webinar events. So you hear now that once I set that flag again, which is just a little indicator that further action is needed. JAWS went ahead and announced the follow-up action I wanted to do, the dates that I wanted to have it completed, as well as when a reminder will alert me to make sure I'm on point and uh, remembering to do this follow-up action. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.